Cosmopolitan Magazine promotes a satanic ritual for terminating unwanted babies. This might be the most satanic thing I've ever seen. With a mission statement that says they empower young women to be who they are and want to be. And their focus is to propel them into their fun and fearless future. That's really their mission. That's that's really their mission statement. What you're about to see happening and ushered in and celebrated by Cosmopolitan is when Satan's agenda isn't just something that happens behind the scenes and the highways of byways of life. This is when Satanism goes mainstream. Several days on Instagram, Cosmopolitan posted this. How does a satanic termination of baby ceremony even work. Now, we're going to get into the details of this, but first, let me show you their initial post from over a week ago. That's right. They have two posts about satanic deletions of babies uh, that says a satanic deletion clinic may sound like clickbait, but it's really happening in New Mexico. No, we're not trolling you. This is the caption. There's a telehealth clinic providing legitimate deletion of baby care ran by members of the satanic temple. I find it interesting why members of the satanic temple would have so much vested interest in the deletion of babies. Hmm. Anyway, uh, and they're designed a devilishly smart legal strategy that might just help them expand into states where deletion of babies is basically banned. Learn more about it at the link in bio. They dropped the link in bio. They, they want you to know that this is something that they're going to tell you about. They're going to promote about. They are campaigning for. And by the way, the comments are not with them. Their own community is kind of roasting them for these posts. Human sacrifice at the cost of innocent lives. Normalizing and glorifying satanic temple. Wow. New low. Reminds me of how old school witches eating babies lore came from women's health practitioners who were performing secret deletion of babies called witches. Their comments just ate them up. And by the way, the Cosmopolitan is a massive, massive Instagram page. And this has 6,000 likes on a, on a ch channel with 4 million followers, right? Very, very, they're, they're getting ratioed. And this next post, this is the most current one, is even worse. It's only 3,000. I mean, listen, I get 3,000 likes on like a throwaway post on Instagram. I have like 100,000 followers, okay? So this is like, their audience isn't with this. But, but let's read this here before we get into the particulars. This is a story about what it's like to have a deletion of baby ceremony and by a 37-year-old who received this clinic via Samuel Alito's mom's satanic clinic. The experience was just very supportive. While she's not a Satanist, she decided to incorporate a few ceremonial elements into her solo deletion of baby experience. Why not? She thought. The overall messaging just clicked with her. Read more about it at the link in the Bible. Okay, so I got a Bible verse that, that's going to beautifully summarize all this, but let's just go through this, okay? Viewer discretion is advised, and you may puke after hearing some of this, but let's just check it out, okay? Patients of all faiths. No, 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 okay, for just cap, out the rip. Not all faiths, okay? Uh, patients of no faith or little faith, okay? Or, or, or self-faith or Satanistic faith. Not all faiths. Let's not do that, okay? Of all faiths, welcome at Samuel Alito's mom's satanic baby deletion clinic in New Mexico. Along with medical counsel, TST offers a free ceremonial support to everyone. Deletion of baby ceremonies are totally optional and customizable. Here is a, here's one sample TST. First, find, you got the upside down cross, of course. First, find a quiet space. Bring a mirror if you can. All right, so the, out the rip, you're mirroring and making this about you. Right. This is this is this is self glorification. This is self worship. This is idolatry at its finest. You're worshiping yourself. Your 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 right to self actualization instead of dealing with the cause and effect reality that we deal with for those of us who engage in intimacy in this way. Right. Just before taking the medication. So this is a uh, a pill form that they take to delete this uh, baby. Uh, gaze at your reflection and focus on your personhood. Home in on your intent your responsibility to you. This is a sickness of the highest order. Eh? Take a few deep, relaxing breaths. When you're ready, read the following tenet out loud. One's body is involuable, subject to one's own will alone. Take the medication and immediately afterward recite. Beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. 
this is such hogwash. Scientific understanding of the world. Forget the scientific understanding of there being unique human DNA in there. Forget the scientific understanding that that is a baby. Um, no, we are going to say it's of one's own admission or whatever it is they're trying to say. One should never care to distort scientific facts to fit one's belief. Later, once the procedure is complete, return to your reflection. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so disgusting. Focus again on your personhood, your power in making this decision. Complete the ritual by reciting a personal affirmation. By my body, my blood, by my will, it is done. This is, this. they've, they've turned this into uh, my body, my choice mantra, right? My will, instead of the Lord's Prayer, which says, let your kingdom, your will be done as it is in, in heaven. This positions the individual as God. If you think about it, if you really think about what this is saying, you are your own God. That's the whole point of this. Mirror or mantras or not. TST's point is that your deletion of a baby should focus on your autonomy and making this decision. Autonomy here is the North Star. It is the guiding pathway. Autonomy and the second equal value is not love, is not respect, is not delaying gratification, is not making better decisions, is not wisdom. It is consent. So if you consented and you have bodily autonomy, that's the North Star. Patients can include as many loved ones as they'd like or light candles or even dress up. Whatever makes them empowered. This is a sickness! Yeah. The so, um, order. again, arguably the most satanic thing I've ever seen. Uh, I find it very alarming that the Church of Satan is so adamant about the deletion of babies to the point where they're participating and, and giving people these rituals. But I did have a, a passage of Scripture that I think perfectly summarizes all of this. So in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, it says, Be strong in the Lord and in this mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Now, now here's, here's a punchline. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We aren't battling against people because people are under this mass deception and mass delusion that I, I believe, and I think scripture teaches, is under the satanic powers of this world, right? That they are being led astray into false ideology that isn't just harmful to the babies in this situation, it's harmful to them. And if you look at the ideation towards self-deletion post one of these procedures, if you look at the mental health issues post when they do have a baby of their own, uh, it, it, none of this is, is leading to human flourishing. All of this is causing more and more destruction. All of this is causing more and more damage and violence to women's bodies, right? And so I think it's important for us to understand as children of God, as followers of God, as we're praying and we're hoping to see the will of God on earth, not our will, but his will be done, that we would hopefully have the posture that, that, that these aren't people we're wrestling with. These are ideologies that are demonic, okay? And then here's the instruction to us. Here is the practical step. Verse 13 says, therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth, buckled around your waist with a breastplate of righteousness and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we're instructed here to put on the full armor of God. My church has been going through an awesome series about the full armor of God. But ultimately, I think the armor of God comes down to us being anchored in the gospel, us being rooted in the word, and us being led by faith and prayer. And one of the best ways you can do that and invest in your own spiritual disciplines is by picking up one of our Bless God prayer journals. Okay, they're available in tan and black, and they're $25.99 right now at blessgodprayer.shop. You could even get a 10% discount code if you put your email in, okay? And here's the deal. In my life, I have found that as I'm dealing with all the insanity in the world, all the principalities in the world, one of the best things that I could be doing for myself and my family is developing and staying consistent in a discipline of prayer, writing out my prayers. When I pray, when I write out my prayers, I'm more likely to get in the Word. There's a section in there for a memory verse. There's a section on there on a reflection of what you've learned from the Word this day. And so it is one of those things for me that's been a keystone habit that's kept me consistent. And I decided just to put the prompts that I've personally used for decades 
in a prayer journal. They're nice, high quality. It's like a, a premium moleskin. Okay, so I encourage you, invest in your disciplines. As the days are getting darker, we can all be the light, but we have to lean in to the spiritual disciplines that we're called to and how it directly ties into putting on the full armor of God. So you can go to blessgod.shop, pick yours up. Now, if you cannot afford it for whatever reason, you can go to blessgodpdf.shop to get the PDF version completely for free. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.